The earthquake happened in an area that I've been studying for maybe the last eight years. And we were in the area and able to respond within eight hours um, when the earthquake happened. Sunday morning, I woke up at my parents' house in Southern California. So I had my kids down there with me, we're doing a family visit. Prior to that, I was on Twitter looking for evidence of surface rupture photos. By about mid-morning, they were out there finding surface rupture, passing the information by text messages and putting them down on the map. Google Earth, sending them back images of the screenshots of Google Earth telling them where to go next. We had a pretty good idea of what fault had ruptured by noon. We had a pretty good idea of what the extent was by the end of the day. It was the Browns Valley strand of the West Napa Fault. So it was a lesser known strand, only mapped in a fragment of what ruptured totally. By noon, the re I started to realize that there really was not a lot of information out there. The news media was sort of grasping on guesses about what fault it was. And so I started putting out this information on Twitter and it really took off. So I posted to the SCEC uh, response wiki when we had a plan of what we were going to do. We, we told the USGS we were going to measure one of their sites. We got there before they did. They showed up. I was like, well, why didn't you guys read the, the wiki? Obviously, we were here, going to be here. But anyway, apart from that, it was all it was pretty good. We, there was a clear separation between what other people were trying to do and what we were trying to do. And, and as a result, we collected a lot more data than we would have done if we tried to do everything in competition. Right away, uh, I was in contact with others, and um, there was a back and forth about whether to activate it, and we activated it. And um, I was sharing information on there simultaneously and communicating with others. On So one of the ways that I use social media is through Hootsuite and Radiant 6, which are social media monitoring systems. I'm most interested actually in the conversations that are recommending the wrong actions or the wrong information, because that's the opportunity to come in um, with Southern California Earthquake Center or Earthquake Country Alliance or the ShakeOut accounts and tweet the recommended information back to the person. Now for the good stuff, where people are saying, yes, I did drop cover hold on, or you know, yes, I need to secure my space more. That's an opportunity where I can go in, retweet them, and that helps spread more accurate and correct information for people.